Um, I'm actually going to read my husband's comments first because so many people already said what I wanted to say, and then I will get to anything of mine afterwards. Others have already brought up the danger of increasing the scope of government, which somehow always finds a way to continue to find reasons to increase scope or budget or both. So instead, I'll discuss the other complaint, that this is creating an appointed position. The question we should ask is, why do we care if a position is elected or appointed? From that, we can ask, what is the purpose of voting? Some people might respond saying that it is to ensure we get the best possible candidates to the positions. I disagree with that assessment as the government is, by design, meant to be inefficient and limited with many checks and balances in order to stave off tyranny. In fact, the intention is to make the worst case scenario as difficult to achieve as possible, rather than ensuring the best case scenario can happen as easily as possible. Clearly, this has wisdom, as the worst case scenario is far more likely to be achieved instead of the best case. Instead, voting is meant as a nonviolent method of removing corrupt and inept people from public offices. By creating an appointed position, you only need to convince three of five people to maintain corrupt or inept public officials instead of half of an entire county. This will continue to increase the risk of corrupt, ineffective, and tyrannical officials remaining in office when they should be removed. Take Fauci, for instance. The action of committee voting in favor to submit this proposal to the commissioners and the commissioners voting to add it to the ballot is an admission that those in favor prefer a system by which corruption and cronyism can more easily be allowed and will be harder to remove, regardless of how the public ultimately votes on the change of government proposal or what potential theoretical benefits might be possible under a new form of government. Those are my husband's comments. And I would just like to add that I refuse to give up my privilege to elect our sheriff. If he is not accountable, or she, if they are not accountable to we the people at the ballot box, then the office will become no more than a political placement for power, manipulation, and self-interest. And I have no faith in that kind of individual to stay true to, to the constitution of our state or our great country. We have far too many examples at the federal level, and sadly in Idaho, of politicians ignoring our constitution for the sake of selfish power mongering and pushing their own personal agenda at the expense of we the people. Stop increasing government. Stop increasing our taxes. Stop increasing bureaucracy. Thank you.